Hi class, welcome to week five. So in week four, we looked at portraits, controlling lighting, and especially creating meaning. We had this lecture in week, six, um, week four, it's lecture six in week four, connecting with viewers. And that lecture was all about um, um, creating meaning in our work in order to make our work unique to further the chance that we'll be able to connect with the viewer in a meaningful way. And I think a lot of students really did a good job putting that theory to test by our portrait shoot requirements, our, our photo assignment last week, and the associated um, visual critique. So good job there, guys. I, I think really good job during week four. Um, some really great, really, really great um, portraits. And some others that were not quite so inspired. And I think that, you know, the students are really going out of their way to set up these portraits and really taking light and exposure. Um, that You know who you are and you're doing fantastic. You really are. And there are students that for, for other reasons, um, perhaps, you know, they don't have the resources um, readily available. But, you know, there's other students that are just submitting basic snapshots. And I hope you guys understand the difference by now. So, so I would like everyone to really be in the, the, the category of really setting up your shots and really being thoughtful about exposure, the exposure, um, the meaning of light, how light creates meaning in the image, and really creating a unique approach to your image that will help you identify and, and connect with your viewers. Okay, on to week five. So week five is really super, super important, guys. Um, this is the week where the rubber hits the road because we introduced the final project. Okay, but before we do that, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on. I, you got to read this right here. You got to read this whole thing. Welcome to week five. I kind of put it in layman's terms. I, t I took the whole final project and I broke it down. It's a little difficult to, to, to understand the first couple of times you read through it. So I broke it down in really simplified terms, giving examples here. So you'll really know where we're going and how to get there. All right. So please read through this. If not once, then, to, then I'm sorry, if not twice, then at, um, at least read through this once, if not twice, I guess is what I'm trying to say. If not three times, please get through this. It's super important and will really rest on the success of your um, final submissions. All right, so um, I'll go over this in a second, but but let's take a quick look at week five and what we have going on. So it's about digital imaging, and we've got this lecture seven about digital imaging. Take a look at this, guys, and understand something, okay? Um, Photoshop, and I'm really proud of this class to this point because nobody up till now has said, um, well, I could just go in there and do that in Photoshop. And there's always students that think that anything can be fixed in Photoshop, and it, that's just not the truth. And yeah, I mean, you can't make a good photograph out of not a good photograph. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have to have good lighting, good composition, um, good, really good balance of, of a lot of different things that we've been talking about for the last five weeks um, in order to create a good image. Once you have a good image, yes, you can make it better in Photoshop by all means. Without question, Photoshop is, is fantastic for enhancing, digitally enhancing, digitally enhancing our images. But it can't fix a bad photo, so let's keep that in mind. The reason I bring that up is because during lecture seven, we go through a few different techniques, digital techniques. And I want you to pay attention to those, and I really want you to think about the photo assignment for this week, and that is employing some of these digital techniques in your, um, your, your photo assignment for this week. I'm not, what, I, what I'm gonna say here is just take it easy, guys. Just take it easy. Take some um tutorials go online take some tutorials read through the, the, the stuff in the in the uh a book and the uh lecture here and, and really try to get a grip of of not overdoing it what does overdoing it mean in photoshop um we can always tell a trained eye can tell photoshop from a distance so you're always going to be able to to tell that something has been overdone in photoshop and that's one of our um, <clears throat> excuse me, our discussion forum for this week is really, it's kind of fun because we're looking at kind of lousy examples of Photoshop, which is always fun to do. Um, okay, so let's get to the, the um, final assignment and, and introducing the final assignment. So what is a final assignment? Uh, it's a, the final project will include 15 to 20 images in a final in a written statement. All right. The, um, this week, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to create a, a final portfolio of in between five and 20 images, and, and they, they all need to be tied together, together conceptually. 
and this week you're going to um, you're going to introduce or or um, uh, give a proposal for your final portfolio. All right. So in giving the proposal, there's two things you have to do. Your proposal should define the narrative. That's define the subject and describe the technique. How do you plan on shooting it? What do you plan on saying? Define a narrative. Once you define a subject, list, th list three different perspectives to set the tone. In, um, to set the tone, include images of styles you think might work. So what does that mean? That means you, you, you define the image and then you set uh, three different perspectives of how you want to shoot the image. Example, this project will be a non-fictional documentary which will visually follow the daily activities of the doorman at my apartment building. Okay, so you've defined the narrative and you've kind of set the, the, set the tone, so to think, so to speak. Um, then you're going to describe the technique. Here you, here you will um, propose uh, three to five specific photographic techniques. So an example, I plan to experiment with black and white, black and white to accentuate the stark contrast between the doorman and the tenants of the building. Okay, um, presumably that is, is going to create these differences in the, in, in the, 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 the doorman himself and the, the tenants. Okay, so you will explore this visually. Now to carry on with that, I will exper experience, um, experiment shooting from the eye level of the doorman to give his perspective, okay? I've given two examples. Remember, you need three to five examples here, all right? And then um, you're gonna fully develop your, your portfolio, uh, uh, your proposal by including the images used for inspiration. And that's right here. That means um, once you define the narrative, list three different perspectives and include images of styles you might think might work. So in this example, the project is non-fictional doc non documentary, which will visually follow the, the daily activities of the doorman on my apartment building. So you're going to ask your apartment building doorman if you can follow him around for a day and shoot him. Try to tell a story, okay? Try to use the light and, and everything we've been learning to develop these relationships and to, to define your narrative in, in, in finding a successful way of connecting with your, with your viewers, okay? Um, okay, so this is a synopsis of what is due this week. Okay, and um, I have taken that from, sorry, I have created that synopsis from, directly from, right over here at this link right here, Grading Rubrics. Let's open that up and let's take a look at this final project, uh, proposal rubric. And I just opened that guy up and there you have it. Right there is where I took this whole synopsis from that, from this particular document and really try to break it down into two meaningful chunks that are more easily digestible than maybe looking at this entire um, rubric, etc. So I hope it's, uh, I hope it helps. Definitely. I, I think it will. I think it will. Um, all right. Any questions at all, guys, please let me know. Um, but the narrative is going to set up the success for your final project. So please, please take this very, very seriously. All right, guys, great job. Everyone's doing fantastic. Any questions, comments, or other, please feel free to get with me. Thanks, everybody. See you guys in discussion board.